In today's adventure, I'm exploring the original shopping mall in my hometown of Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. This mall opened in 1977, and for many years it was the main shopping destination for all of the city of Niagara Falls. Stay tuned as we wander the empty mall and hear from some of the locals of Niagara Falls about their memories of Niagara Square. This 36,000 square meter shopping center, which opened in 1977, had 83 units, but many had been empty in recent years prior to its closing in 2017. In January of 2017, less than 30% of the stores were occupied. Stores had been slowly closing up shop since tenants were given notice in January 2017 that they needed to vacate the mall by May 1st of that year. By April of 2017, the only store inside the mall that was still open for business was Winners. Niagara Square had suffered a major blow in 2002 when Zellers decided to pull out as one of the mall's major retail anchors. That plus a gradual decline as big box retail operations set up shop on Morrison Street at Drummond Road and as other malls in Niagara Falls continued to expand. This fueled rumors among all mall tenants and shoppers that the mall was doomed for eventual closure. Here are some memories from the people of Niagara Falls on their experience and their memories of Niagara Square. Mary Jane Elias says, What I remember the most was the people. It was always busy there and you could find anything you needed all in one place. The best time was Christmas with the hustle and bustle of kids waiting to see Santa. It was a great place to be. Monica Walker of Niagara Falls remembers going in on the weekends with her grandparents. Her grandfather would sit on the bench and wait for grandma as she finished shopping. Monica's trips always ended with her picking out some lucky lottery tickets for her grandmother and a strawberry Julius for herself. Both of Monica's grandparents have passed on, but her memories at the mall are ones that will last forever. Emily from Niagara Falls says, My best memory is from 1984. I begged my parents for a leather fringe jacket, just like John Bon Jovi's. I was only 13 years old and I was convinced the world would not continue if I didn't have one. One day while shopping at Niagara Square, there was the jacket. I walked into a store called BJ's, which was a men's store, but I didn't care. It was so beautiful and perfect until I saw the price at $299. How does a 13 year old convince her parents that she must have this jacket? Well, somehow she did. She froze that winter, but it didn't matter. She had her Bon Jovi jacket, and she was the happiest girl in the world. Doug Morrison of Niagara Falls says, Sam the Record Man. I bought my first records and tapes there when it was a rite of passage to buy music at a record store. Those were the days. Jess St. Angelo of Niagara Falls says, Niagara Square has always held a special place in my heart. My grandfather lived in Florida as I was growing up. Whenever he would come down, he would take me to Niagara Square. Usually we would go to Kmart or Zeller's to get some sort of toy. I remember being so excited to walk down those hallways with him. Even as I got older, we would still go there. I went there about a week ago just to take one last walk around with my two and a half year old daughter. Now, in 2019, with Chum Cannabis Company and a new medical clinic opening in buildings with outdoor access on the property, and a recent announcement that Costco Wholesale will be opening a new 150,000 square foot location next year, city officials are celebrating a rebirth of Niagara Square. While the interior portion of Niagara Square has been vacant since 2017, standalone businesses on this property, including World Gym, Michaels, Yisk, the Brick, Mandarin, and Cineplex have all remained open. Rumors had been swirling for some time that Costco Wholesale, which has stores in St. Catharines and Stony Creek, was looking for a new home in Niagara Falls. Now, as of September 2019, the demolition has finally begun on the old Niagara Square to make way for a new, state-of-the-art Costco facility 
and at 150,000 square feet, it will be much larger than the existing Costco store in St. Catharines and will feature a gas bar.